ever wonder how one wrong item choice could lose you the game or how that perfect counter could make you the MVP. <laughs> Whether you want to counter or re-counter or re-counter the re-counter. What? Don't worry, Papa Kazuki is here to teach you everything you need to know. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we are going to learn how to counter and re-counter according to the enemy's build. Okay. As we all already know by now, having the right item at the right time is very essential. It sometimes is the difference between your team winning and losing. So let's learn how to counter the enemy builds and re-counter if your enemy counters your counter. We have already made a couple of videos like this in the past. I recommend you check them out. But this time we are changing a few things around. Not only am I going to give you the well-known counters like Demon Hunter Sword for Guardian Helmet, but I am also going to slot in different types of counter for different kinds of heroes. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. First, let's check out all the physical items and how to counter them. That said, if you wanna know about all the physical items, there is already a video for it. I highly recommend you check them out. Okay. In this video, we are not going to go in depth about how the specific equipment works. Physical items so far are the most popular items in the game because they are more physical heroes than they are magic. So learning about physical items and their counters is the most important thing in the game if you are trying to level up your gameplay. Physical items are divided into four major categories. Critical items, attack speed, penetration items, lifesteal or spell whim. Critical items are all the items that boost your crit chance and help you deal that sweet crit that deletes enemies HP like butter. These are all the current critical items in the game and all of them have different purposes. But to counter them you just need to build defense or HP. Blade armor, twilight armor or defense items in general are your best bet. Blade armor is your best counter for the crit items as it not only has a high amount of physical defense but it also counters how crit items work thanks to its passive. If you build crit, you are going to rely on basic attacks and blade armor affects basic attacks by reflecting back 30% of the incoming damage. <coughs> blade armor also has 20% crit damage reduction built into its kit which makes it perfect to counter all the critical items. If you are building crit items and the enemies build blade armor, what to do? Well, build penetration items like Malefic Roar or items that come with penetration like Hunter Strike and Blade of Heptasis. And Husk Claws also give you some light steel to offset the reflecting damage from this. Hunter Strike and Blade of Heptasis aren't really items that you are going to be building on critical heroes. But you can build Malefic Roar on almost all builds. Next, we have the attack speed items. These items increase your attack speed, it's that simple. And just like critical items, different items serve different purposes. Some of the items from critical category are also here, as they boost your overall attack speed too. Attack speed items increase your damage over time, as the attacks you deal over time increase, making you very fast and dealing a high amount of damage over time. The difference between critical and attack speed is that critical items are best against enemies who don't have a high amount of HP, so you can take them down instantly. Attack speed items on the other hand are good against heroes with a high amount of HP as the damage you deal is more consistent and you deal a lot of it in a short amount of time. To counter attack speed items, you either have to reduce the incoming damage with physical defense using items like blade armor. Yeah, blade armor is still really good because if you're building attack speed, you are using basic attacks and the damage is being reflected here. Or you need to build items with the passive arctic cold built into them, such as dominance eyes and black ice shield. The arctic cold passive reduces the attack speed of whoever is attacking by 80 or 90 for one second. Let's also not forget the physical defense you are getting. So what are you going to do if you are building attack speed and you get countered with the above items? First and foremost, avoid them as there is no real counter to arctic cold. What? 
But if you are forced to fight them, always have the trusty penetration items. These are the partial ways to counter them. Now we have penetration items. There are only 4 penetration items in the game and 2 others have penetration as a secondary attribute. The items are Blade of Aptasis, Hunter Strike, Malefic Roar and Fury Hammer. So how do we counter penetration? You can't counter Malefic Roar because it has percentage penetration in it. Which means no matter the amount of defense you build, it is going to go down by 20 to 40%. For the other items, you can just counter them by building more defense or by reducing the effectiveness of the item itself. Hunter Strike is countered by Corrosion Scythe as Corrosion Scythe slows them down, but Corrosion Scythe is not really an item you build on everyone. However, if you can build it, then go for it. Just build more defense and make the penetration effect basically useless. For the Blade of Aptasis, just build defense items. Yeah, there is penetration, but it's not that much. So you are doing the same thing here. You can either go with Antic Cures or Blade Armor for both items. And now to re-counter Antic Cures or Blade Armor, well, you already know the answer. Just build Malefic Roar. Okay, it's time for Lifesteal and Spell Vamp items. Lifesteal and Spell Vamp, what do they mean? Lifesteal is an attribute that restores health equal to percentage when dealing damage through basic attacks. Its skill counterpart is a spell vamp. It's in the name, isn't it? Life Steal. Life Steal is built by heroes who rely on basic attacks. And spell vamp is built by the heroes who rely on skills to deal damage. Life Steal isn't really as big as it used to be back in the day but still some of the marksmen build them. And Spell Vamp is really popular right now, especially among all the fighters. Again, individual items do different things in these equipment too. For example, Endless Battle does so many things that you will need a full build just to counter it. A general counter for all Life Steal and Spell Vamp items are the items with Life Band as passive. These items are Dominant Eyes, Sea Halberd and Glowing Wand. Life Band reduces the region and shield effects of the enemy by 50% for 3 seconds. Dominance Eyes works well as a good counter for these equipment as it also gives you physical defense and nice attack speed reduction with it. And as we all know, there isn't really proper counter to Life Band, well, unless you are Florin. You can build Oracle to offset some of the Life Band effects, but it won't completely counter it. And Oracle isn't an item you build on every hero, right? The same thing also works for Magic Spell Vamp and Lifesteal items. You can counter them with items with Life Vamp and build Oracle to offset some of the Life Vamp effects. Let's dive into magical items real quick and I will break them down into two categories, Burst and Damage over time. I know these aren't really a proper classification, but they are classified according to the heroes. Note the items themselves. We have burst heroes and then we have DOT heroes. That's how most heroes who deal magic damage work. First up, we have magic items like Lightning Truncheon, Holy Crystal and Blood Wings. These are your go-to-go for heavy damage. They are all about that one-shot high burst magic damage in the late game. But how do you counter these? You will want Athena's shield, its passive reduces magic damage by 25%. And how do you counter Athena? Well, build a magic penetration and wait for the shield to wear off. That's how to re-counter Athena's shield. You can also use the glowing wand to make Athena's effect wear off and attack later. Next, let's keep it short and simple with DOT damage items. The Glowing Wand is a classic, dealing extra magic damage based on 1.5% of the target's maximum HP. We also have the new item, Wishing Lantern. Heroes like Valir and Chang'e shine with this. However, you can counter it with Radiant Armor. Not only does Radiant Armor give 52 magic defense, but its passive reduces magic damage by 48. That's a solid pick when you are up against heroes who deal constant fog damage like Eve. To break through these defenses, you will need some magic penetration. Genius Wand is a great choice, reducing enemy magic defense by up to 21 at full strength. And if you need more, grip Divine Glaive for that drop end. 
Wow, that sounds so wrong. As much as I would love to go into defense items and tell you how to counter them, there I have already talked about so many defense items and how to counter them. And I don't think there is a need for me to tell you how to counter and re-counter all these items. But let me give you the simplest version of counter and re-counter here. Alright, with that done, let me summarize the whole video for you so that you can understand how to counter and re-counter. Damage both physical and magic is countered by defense, which includes both physical and magic defense items. Defense in turn can be countered by a penetration or effects that directly reduce defense, such as Genius Wand's passive and also items with true damage. To counter this, you can build draw HP to increase your survivability. And if you want to counter this, use items that deal HP-based damage and HP-based damage is countered by defense, creating a cycle. For the other items, for if you want to counter Spell Vamp or Lifesteal, you can build items with life ban effects and to counter that, use Oracle. Although it's not a complete counter, it will offset some of its effects. And finally, items that give you movement speed can be countered by items that slow you down like Corrosion Scythe, Blood of Aptasis, Ice Queen Wand. So what do you guys think? Which other items or effects you wanna know how to counter and re-counter? Which is your favorite item and how do you counter it? Comment down all your answers below. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.